the power of the dark side, 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 side. Okay, so here we're going to do a, a quick video on how to get into the service menu of your Samsung television. There are several ways <clears throat> to do this. I have the 64 inch F8500, so this will cover that and this, meth this method will get you into other Samsung television service menus. Um, if I can list if I can paste a list of the different televisions and their menus, I will do so. So here we have the original remote. We're going to press a code here on the remote if we can get it to focus, which is going to be mute one eight two power. So the power on the television should come on and then a blue service menu should pop up over to the left. Alright, most people don't know about this. Now you can mess everything up in this menu. Do not go messing around in here. You only want to come into this menu if you have a particular thing that you're trying to do. Well, my particular thing here is I was curious how many hours I have on my panel because I was re doing some research on OLED degradation. And of course, everybody talks like they know the answer. So someone says that they say that an OLED panel will last for whatever the number of hours that totaled 11.4 years. And then, of course, you go back and you think, well, OLEDs have only been out for a couple of years. How is it possible to know that? It isn't. So the reason that we're doing this is because this is a plasma television. Plasma televisions have been on the market for, what, 25 years? And even people that I still know, if you tell them you have a plasma, the first thing they want to talk about is the degradation. It's like they think that, well, they should have an LCD because they heard there was plasma degradation. So what they should have is picture quality degradation. Well, I scoff at that notion. Uh, so anyway, here we are at the service menu in the Samsung plasma television. There's your information. Now what I want to know is not in that particular information there. And this is where you're going to go to do a factory reset if you ever have to do that on your television. So you want to know this. You want to know this information. But what we're going to do is go into the service menu. It's just going to give us some information. Oh, well, okay. And then one more level. So you see how much information there is in the service menu. If you go in here and start pushing buttons and you don't know what you're doing, your TV, you will screw your television up. So don't do that. We're just going to go into service info. And then, there we have our serial number and everything. Now, that might give away how much television I watch. Although, I purchased this television off of the wall at Brandsmart. That means this TV was up and running daily. <clears throat> and I believe they had it on the wall for a year. Because I bought it when they started discounting these televisions and I was able to get a good deal on it. By the way, if you're going to buy a television off the wall of Brandsmart, you better be careful. There are TV tuners out of the back of the TVs. I tried to buy one like that one time. TV tuner totally tore out, tore out of the back. This TV, if I turn it off and I get it at a certain angle, you'll, you'll see two scratches on the screen. That's why I was able to get it quite a good deal. So, um, anyway, we've got 551,560 minutes. So, we'll do the math on that, and then that's going to be the whole point of this endeavor. But anyway, that's how you get into the service menu. 
Have a beautiful day.